Nice, hoping to win big, big, big bucks this weekend. It's the 16th annual Battle on Bago, and yeah. there's more than $300,000 of uh, prizes up for grabs tonight. Emily Roberts joining us live in Oshkosh. She's been there all day, all week, really. The party, though, just getting started for them, Emily. Bill, Camley, we are just moments away from a Friday night fish fry in this tent here. And it's the same tent where competitors are weighing their walleyes and bluegills. About 7,000 competitors are taking to the ice for the 16th annual Battle on Bago. We're looking for that good entertainment factor. It's a time to get outside, but still be inside and have a really good time. But the tournament looks a little different this year. Warm temperatures stopped some fishing clubs from putting out their vehicle bridges. Many leaving their trucks and trailers close to shore. It's going to be different this year because you can't drive out, so... Just going to try to get a fish. It takes a lot of volunteers to make the battle possible. Here's one of the boards dozens of people use to measure the fish. Well, there's 18 scales, which takes two people, a per, someone on the scale and someone on the computer. Then there's a command center. Uh, there's probably 20 people up there going through all the tickets, sorting all the tickets for next year. And those scales are vital to getting prizes in the hands of fortunate fishers. First place, you get a Yeti cooler and $2,023. The top prize is a Ford F-150 Super Crew. That's 2,000, 2000 place. Turtle Clanky says he's won twice over the years. Fishing gear, mostly. Like I run some rods and uh, like hats and stuff like that. Hope's always there for, there's enough big prizes out there. Battle on Bago is more than a contest. Organizers give back to their community. The event's mission statement is for kids and conservation. It's a great feeling when it's over with to give back and to see some of these uh, fisheries, or kids getting fishing poles, or some DNR projects that really need to get done, or putting out docks or piers for people to have public access to. It's a lot of fun. It is very rewarding, and it's great to be part of it. I've spoken to a lot of people excited to see the band Road Trip take the stage, and their performance starts tonight at 7. Live in Oshkosh, Emily Roberts, Action 2 News.